Welcome to the Learning Center. This video is going to take you through the process of scheduling a tutoring appointment using our tutor track scheduling system. You can access tutor track at tutoring.sunypoly.edu and you will log in using the same SITNET ID and password that you use to sign into Banner and Blackboard. Once logged into tutor track, this will be the home page main menu that you'll see and you can click on the search availability button on the left hand side to start the search process. Under the center drop down menu you'll need to select in-person tutoring or online tutoring depending on the type of appointment you would like and keep in mind that not all tutors do provide online tutoring and if they do you will see it here. For this example, I'm going to select in-person tutoring. And then I'll have to choose the course or type of help I'm looking for. Citation help, research help, study skills, and writing help are available to all undergraduate and graduate level students for any class that you have to write a paper for. Additionally, you will see listed courses that you're currently taking if we have a tutor available. If a class you're taking is not listed here, it just means that we do not provide tutoring for that course. This student's currently registered for CS 108 and Math 151. Those are two classes that we do have tutoring available for each semester. I'm going to go ahead and select Calc 1. The rest of the fields are already populated. So at this point, you just need to click on the search button. And what will be displayed are the available time slots for in-person tutoring for Calculus 1 for the next two weeks. Students can book two weeks ahead and you are allowed to book three appointments per week for each class. So this student could book three appointments for CS 108 and up to three appointments for MAT 151. At this point, you just need to go through and select the day and time. Maybe you have a tutor that you've already worked with or you're familiar with, and you can look for them on the list, or you just look for a time that will fit best in your schedule. I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, Monday afternoon with Kaylee Walsh. I'm going to go ahead and go for 1 to 2 p.m. And once I select that time, I'm going to get a confirmation window that I'll have to finish filling out. You will need to put your email address. Please use your SUNY Poly email address. And then in the notes field, we do ask that you list specific topics that you need help with so the tutors can be better prepared to help you when the day comes. Notes such as just homework or test review won't give the tutor a good idea of what you need help with. Uh, they may want to find extra examples or brush up on the topic before you arrive for your tutoring appointment. For example, I will go ahead and put derivatives, uh, chain rule, and quotient rule. This is enough to give the tutor an idea of what you need help with. Once I click save, you'll notice that that time has disappeared from the availability menu and you will receive a confirmation email letting you know that the, the appointment's been scheduled. And then you'll receive a reminder email somewhere around five o'clock the night before your appointment, just to remind you. If you chose online tutoring, your tutor will email you a link to join them on Collaborate Ultra at the time of your appointment. Don't forget you can email learningcenter at sunypoly.edu if you have any additional questions.